Hey there, so today we have another review. This is Beer Curse Pro. Oh, thank you so much for sending this one. Um, this, this is a flashback to classics. Uh, Dead Guy Ale, which is like my about inspired kind of like amber ale. <laughs> it definitely was an ale fermentation. So um, now they've recreate, uh, or like, uh, revigorated the brand. So sort of like, you know, New Belgium, Blue Ranger, you have Rogue, Dead Guy, IPA. So now we're doing IPA now. It's actually surprising. I mean, like this is a new release. They sent this one out to me. It's really cool, though, cool for them to like, Finally do it in 2023 because like you think like you would have started this brand earlier, but it's really cool. So uh, what do we know about this? Well, first, get a can of beer. Sorry. Uh, I had to reshoot this because um, the mic wasn't working. So anyway, I've tried this beer before. Um, let's dig, dig in this guy. It's 10% IPA, 69 IBUs, 9 SRM Citra Mosaic. So the beer, 9 SRM, yeah, it's about the deep gold color. Not completely clear of a beer. Um, it's pretty good. On the nose. Mm, quite nice. Um, it's kind of sweet orange marmalade character. A um, little bit of piney hops. Maybe a little sweet bready malt in there as well. Nothing too crazy, but it smells pretty classic. It smells just it smells of, of the West. <laughs> Here. Mm, nice. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. So. Um, I'm gonna say like literally last week I had a, a, a draft for Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. This immediately reminds me of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, and that's strange because this beer is solid, 10%. This is full on IPA, and this doesn't taste like Torpedo. This really tastes like a leaner version of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I think that beer has just tastes like it has more crystal malt to it, but the hot profile is pretty similar. I would have never guessed this beer is Citra Mosaic. Um, this beer tastes like Cascade and Centennial or something like that to me. Um, in general, you get, again, this kind of oily orange character that comes in, a little bit of grapefruit bitterness, grapefruit pith. I think it's all classic descriptors to me, like bitter, uh, pine, earthy. It definitely tastes of Pacific Northwest. Uh, I remember trying a bunch of those beers from Portland, Oregon, slash Oregon area, and they just has this earthy theme to it, a little bit cannabis-y. This one's not too cannabis-y, but there's, a, again, that tone of just like earth and soil, and that sort of plays into this lingering bitterness that like sort of extracts early on and then just rides through your palate. The bitterness is actually pretty light. It's actually the medium bitterness beer is really not, this is not a bitter IPA, let me tell you that. Um, malt's pretty pulled back as well. You get a little bit of um, sweet toasted crackery, like biscuit kind of bit, uh, malt character, but it doesn't taste as rich and saturated as something like Cigar City High Lie or Torpedo, the leaner malt bill. Again, drinks like uh, Pacific Northwest, they, they, those are really stripped down beers. This one has a little bit of West Coast influence, you know, or uh, California influence. It seems like it has a little bit more malt character, a little bit more, it's not as naked. Like those beers are stripped, bare, pale, and really just like bursted of like, you know, big aromatics and then this kind of like dank, earthy thing. This does some of that blended with like a Sierra Nevada kind of like spin on it. Um, it's really fun. It's, it's a very drinkable beer for 7%, which is dangerous. Like, thankfully, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is just a Pale Ale. It's not like five. I believe that beer is a five proof beer. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is full on 7% IPA and it really drinks like a Pale Ale. So that's crazy. Um, it's a nuanced beer. It's a drinkable beer. So, like, you can find nuances out of it if you want. Otherwise, it also has uh, high drinkability to it, but, you know, um, pushback, bitterness, a little bit. Nice complexity of molten uh, hops, classic, classic kind of flavor. Again, these build, these beers were built to be drinkable versus like you know some of these impression hazy IPAs that like are not crushable. I like this beer. I mean, you give a solid ninety three. So shout out to classic uh, Dead Guy. I mean, Dead Guy L was like again one of the, like the pivotal craft beers even before I got into craft beer, right? Over a decade ago, so it was pivotal to craft beer, and uh, now they've rebranded the style, uh, the, 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 the rebranded the, 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 the dead guy <laughs> to sell IPA, which is great. This is a very good recipe, very good recipe. So 93, fantastic. Thank you, uh, Rogue, for sending this one out. Cheers, later.